Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is now clarifying his stance on Holocaust deniers after his remarks about deniers not, quote, intentionally getting it wrong sparked outrage. Zuckerberg addressed the spread of misinformation on Facebook and concerns over offering conspiracy outlets platforms to publish inaccurate and fake news for billions of users. While finding Holocaust denial offensive, he said in an interview with the online site Recode, that such content should not be blocked from his platform. And so I'm Jewish, mm -hmm. um, and there's a set of people who uh, deny that the Holocaust happened, yes, right? I find that deeply offensive. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I, I don't believe that our platform should take that down because I think that there are things that different people get wrong, um, either... I, I don't think that they're intentionally getting it wrong, but I think but that in they... In case of a Holocaust um, deniers, they might be, but go ahead. Um, it's, it's hard to yeah. impugn intent. I just don't think that it is the right thing to say we are going to take someone off the platform if they get things wrong um, even multiple times. And joining me now from Aspen, Colorado, is Jonathan Greenblatt. He is the CEO of the Anti-Defamation Defamation League. Jonathan, thank you for being with us. Um, you say Facebook has a moral and ethical obligation not to allow people who circulate Holocaust denial on its platform. Zuckerberg released a statement to Recode trying to clarify his comments, saying, I personally find Holocaust denial deeply offensive, and I absolutely didn't intend to defend the intent of people who deny that. Is this enough, though? Well, frankly, we don't think it's enough. So we should recognize that Holocaust denialism is anti-Semitism plain and simple. It is a form of hate speech that really shouldn't be up for debate. I mean, to talk about the intent of it is like talking about the legitimacy of racism. Simply put, it is unambiguously wrong. It is a willful and deliberate tactic that's long been used by anti-Semites and bigots that's hateful and hurtful to Jewish people and others who perished in that terrible catastrophe. So this question of intentionality to you is an irrelevant one, correct? It is because the intent of it is literally to undermine the narrative of Jewish suffering and to render Jews inconsequential to their own story. So again, we wouldn't debate the ethics of slavery and we don't debate the truth of Sandy Hook, the Holocaust, its legitimacy as a historical event for which there is an overwhelming body of evidence and millions and millions and millions of people who perished should not be as a legitimate event up for debate. And so, Jonathan, um, Zuckerberg frames this as a free speech issue. Do you think he has a point or is this not an area that should be protected? Well, at the ADL, we are fierce advocates for the First Amendment. I think we need to also recognize, though, that businesses have an obligation, a responsibility, to make sure their platforms are safe for all of their users. And as Facebook is now, thankfully, taking steps around dealing with hate speech on their platform and taking steps to deal with fake news on their platform, Holocaust denialism is an original form of fake news. And as they are taking measures to ensure, again, the integrity of the experience for all their users, Holocaust denialism deserves to be considered in this body of work that, again, they're, this body of lies that they are qualifying. So does Zuckerberg's position then surprise you? Because, you know, he <laughs> made a commitment to removing fake news. Uh, you know, he seemed to make a commitment to trying to, to sort of clean up Facebook, as it were. So does his position on this surprise you? Well, look, we work, you know, the ADL opened up an office in Silicon Valley last year. We work actively with Facebook and the other tech companies. They have been good partners with us in trying to mitigate cyber hate and trying to reduce online harassment. I'll acknowledge here that Facebook has taken great steps to move the ball downfield and to make their platform safer for all of their users. But this story reminds us that there is still a long way to go. So what surprises me is that Mark would fumble on something that seems so incontrovertible. Again, the intent of Holocaust deniers is one thing, to promote a vicious and pernicious form of anti-Semitism. 
I hope he recognizes that. Jonathan Greenblatt, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me.